Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install a GC capillary column. So I've got a Sapelco SLP 5MS column, 30 meter, 2 5 millimeter ID. So what I'm going to do, I take it out of the box, and first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of column out of the cage so I have something to work with here. Don't really need much. We're going to install it in a GC FID. I've got all the fittings cooled down so I don't have to worry about, about using the rubber gloves. They won't uh, burn. So I orient the column in, in the oven. I like to have the, the uh, tag of the column facing forward so that uh, later on I can open the door up and see what kind of phase it is. So the first thing is you're going to cut the factory ends off. These are flame sealed ends. So I've got a sapphire cutter here. Cut that off. And um, we're going to be inserting the column into the um, inlet here through this nut and ferrule. Ferrule has to match the column ID. And you need about three to six millimeters of the column sticking up above the ferrule once you tighten it down. You can either hold it while you're tightening, which is a little tricky, or a trick is, is to use an old septum like I've got here. I slip that over the end of the column, and it's going to act as a shelf to hold everything in place, and I'll show you how that works. So I've got my septum, now I'm going to put my column nut over the end, then my appropriately sized ferrule. Ferrules will have a blunt end and a pointy end. You want to insert them on the column so the pointy end is facing up. I'll put that on back. Oops, so let's reorient that. Too. a hard time seeing it. There we go. Pointy end up. Okay, so now that I've got this, anytime you put a ferrule over the end of a column, you need to cut it because some of the um, graphite can be shaved off by the column and end up down in there. So I'm going to cut it on my sapphire cutter. Okay, and I'm going to check my cut, make sure it's even. Now I can use that septum to move that nut up and down until I have about the right distance, so about right there. Okay, so now I'm going to insert this into the inlet, and I'm using that septum to hold it in place, and I'm, fing I'm just using hand tightening here on the nut. Now I'm going to grab my quarter inch wrench, and I'm going to tighten just until the ferrule grabs the column. And then once I, once I uh, feel that it grabs, because you'll feel resistance, give it another quarter turn like that. Okay, and you, when you tug on the column, it shouldn't move. So at this point, pull the septum down, because you're going to heat everything up later on, and you don't want that septum heating up and bleeding material off. Okay, now on the detector side, I'm going to do the same thing. Get my ferrule here. Okay, so my column end for the detector, and this is an FID, so it's a similar process, just different distance of insertion. On this side I don't really need that. Okay. So first I'm going to cut off that factory sealed end with my sapphire cutter. Then the nut goes over the column, followed by the ferrule pointy side up. The wrong ferrule there. Let me grab one for you here. Drop the ferrule. the wrong size. Okay, so pointy side up. Once again, because I slipped a, a ferrule over the end of the column, I want to cut it. My sapphire cutter. Nice even cut. Okay, at this point then, I'm going to insert it into the FID until, push the column all the way up until it stops, so you can't insert it anymore. So you're actually putting it up inside the jet. Then hold it in place, hand tighten that nut as much as you can, have your wrench at hand, grab your quarter inch wrench, and tighten until it just grabs the column, but you can still move the column a little bit. Okay, like now. So now I'm going to pull it down just maybe a couple millimeters, like that. Oops. And then tighten it down all the way. And at that point, you're good. All you gotta do now, turn on your flows, temperatures, and condition your call.